Alrighty, PG-13, this is G.I. Joe, and what do you love to army build for your Joes? Now, I'm really loving these commemorative figures, and I still have one or two more in the package, and these Marines are just fantastic for army building. And they actually do fit some of the oversized Hasbro weapons that came out in the two packs. So I thought, hey, <laughs> that's fantastic. Now some people do army build uh, Leathernecks. I have a couple. <laughs> but Leathernick is my marine. <laughs> Them got gung-ho. I'm loving this. But I still might paint the boots black. That gung-ho looks fantastic. And behind Gung Ho is uh, soldiers. Oh, <laughs> I almost got some dominoes here. Oh, falling over already. Should use the figure stands. <laughs> We're having technical difficulties here again. Anyways, <laughs> the soldiers are pretty cool, and I'm 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 actually digging these, digging the soldiers. So we got some more cannon fodder for the Joes some green shirts and they're pretty cool I'm, lo I'm loving these figures so if you want to build a Joe army it's pretty fantastic pretty awesome to do and you know I'm also loving these Delta 17 figures the infantry troopers there's uh, light skinned and uh, dark skinned or skin tone, whatever you want to call it. These are excellent army builders as well. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to get a couple more of those. And uh, what else? There's going to be trouble. This is my Robocop for the Joes. However, I still thinking I should just paint this. But, you know. <laughs> Maybe paint it all silver, but that works. Now these in the Navy figures are definitely great for army builders. You can get like a whole bunch for, well, I think it was 190 American and you get like 12 or something like that. But these green shirts are just fantastic to have. <clears throat> Now, if there's a war with China, well, we're not going to get any of our figures that are made in China. And that's another thing, like, you know, someone should contact, uh, oh, call sign Longbow and uh, tell them, you know what, just get your figures made in America because the shipping and everything else, uh, that price is going to increase anyways. And if there's a war, well, then we're not going to get those figures. <laughs> All that hard work down the drain. <laughs> but I guess they don't want to take that bite in the, in the cost right now. And they're already charging like 25 a figure unless you got in on the uh, on the Kickstarter. But hopefully we'll be seeing those figures if there's no war. But again, China did say they're preparing for all-out war. So chances are there's going to be a war then. <laughs> Anyways, so what else do you love to army build? Now, I do army build Snake Eyes. I do have a lot of different snake eyes and you know they're great for whatever you want I also army build we got some Big Ben's there and all the other different versions of Big Ben so again Big Ben is a, a great figure to army build and you know this chest piece would actually be a cool custom so I'm gonna have to see if I can get some more Big Ben's and maybe make a custom from that chest piece because it is just fantastic. There's other figures in the line that also share a uh, different version of Big Ben's chest piece. And I think it is this one here. He is a figure from the 2000s. But this is a different Big Ben chest piece that this figure shares with him. So, <laughs> it's a great thing. Now, I do army build my Storm Shadows. These ones are really white, these two. You know, it's the rest of them <laughs> tend to double up over time as you can see so I got about six so far 
And you know, hit and runs also make for a great army builder. Now I do have more Lieutenant Falcons. You know, grunts, some people army build grunts. Some people army build Steel Brigade. I would like to get more Steel Brigade. So there's definitely a lot of cool figures you can army build for your Joe team. And uh, when we get our in the Navy figures uh, this summer or fall, most likely be the summer if there's no war with China. But you know, since Russia and China signed a pact, oh yes, the Jinx, I do army build the Jinx. <laughs> and I, I definitely would like to get a few more Jinx. Oh, I do have one of the Tiger Force ones. I did sell a Tiger Force one to a, that same collector that uh, wanted a few rare figures. So I did sell some, but in order to buy more Joes. <laughs> so sometimes, oh yes, I do army built stalkers. You know, like, there's quite a few figures to army build. Now you can actually use them as an MP because our MPs actually do have a red beret. Uh, they're actually pretty, pretty cool. Um, now there is a lot of these older figures you could army build and make your own customs like I've done, you know, made some customs out of the Stars and Stripes figures. And you know, I love that rock and roll chess piece, so I would love to army build more Joes. You can army build some of your Russians, you know, if I got some more October Guard, then I could army build some more, but that might be in the future. <laughs> So, there is a lot of cool figures you can army build. I've got way too many <laughs> lifelines. <laughs> so, what figures do you love to army build? I know some people like army build gung hoes. You know, we got a couple there. Some people do army build shipwrecks. I only have the one. <laughs> I would like to get some more uh, the Battle Force figures because the uh, Dodger body, that would be cool to make like a. A space force you know aliens you know you can army build astronauts we haven't really talked as much about the astronauts for Joe's but you know there's a lot you can army build and now I would love to raise the flag in the next month or so so I'm gonna have to go price out some wood then I'm gonna have to it'll be hell week but I'm gonna have to uh, rearrange the whole entire room just to accommodate a flag now if I decide to make it three stories huh or if I decide to make it two but I'm already running into a dilemma here with the flag because it's pretty big so I'm gonna have to probably put it in the center of the room move some shelves around you know get rid of a table because if you make it a few stories then it's well not gonna fit on the table <laughs> I do have casters and all that stuff already, so that's not a problem. Um, I do have my saws. Ideally, it would be nice to have a table saw, but I don't don't have that luxury. <laughs> also, army building the uh, pilots. You know, like there's a lot of pilots you can army build. The commemorative sets are actually great for army building. So I don't know what else to tell you, but. Uh, you know, who do you love to army build the most out of your Joes? And, um, oh, what else? <laughs> what other figure? Oh, yes, you can I definitely army build um, some of your divers, like Wetsuit and Torpedo. I've got a lot of divers. You know, these figures here are great for army building, as well as Deep Six. There's even Shipwreck. For your Navy SEALs. So you can definitely army build quite a bit of troops. I do have a lot of uh, roadblocks. <laughs> so great for making customs as well. Like I've made customs from my other some of my other figures. But you know, what do you love to army build? I would love to know for your Joe teams. I mean there is a lot of cool figures and yes we showed you the yeah uh, customs you can make for army building as well to make your winter force for the Joes and that is just another great idea that you can use to make more figures and it's always cool to make more I 
want more. <laughs> we always want more. Uh, what else? Oh yes, I love to army build the MPs. I've got uh, quite a few actually. I have one up there, and then there's a few more down here. Even some custom ones. Another one there. Another custom there. So I do love army building the uh, MPs. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> beach, some people army build beachheads. <laughs> oh, we gotta get this camera in here again. I do have, uh, well, army build some slaughters. <laughs> I don't know. Slaughter's body type is actually perfect to make customs, but I'm not gonna take apart my mail away ones. <laughs> Got a, a few of those ones. So there's a lot of different figures you can army build. And, uh, you know, Shockwave is another great figure to army build. I did have another one, but the same collector. I think I sold him a few, so... Sometimes I do sell some, but for the most part, I just keep what I got. And, you know, Doc makes a great army builder, because then you can make customs from, from Doc. Now, there's a lot of different figures you can make cool customs from. So, what other figures... Well, tunnel rats, you can make great customs. Um, figures with the like bare arms, you know, there's can you always use those bare arms to make different customs? Even uh, what other figures? <laughs> but, anyways, so China's preparing for war with the uh, US, India, and Japan, and they signed a deal with Russia. So, I mean, if China's that stupid to do that, hey, great. But just remember, the technology that was leaked to you was probably done intentionally <laughs> since it's like 50 to 70 years outdated. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I guess America is going to show you the new technology in the next war. And uh, yes, we know that uh, you, you have your railguns and your uh, high and low tech frequency weapons. So, microwave beams, whatever you want to call them. And the, those are easily, you know, we can easily render all your defenses. You know, a few EMP uh, <laughs> detonations will basically uh, make you impotent, China. <laughs> so you'll be, you'll be rendered pretty, pretty fast as the states would dominate you. Because it doesn't matter if you have 450 warships, those will be sunk in, a, in an instant. And like I said, we have the hypersonics, ultrasonic. <laughs> there might even be a photon beam. <laughs> as well as laser weapons. And then, yes, you have some of that too. We all know that. So, in other words, you know, you turn your back on the same civilization that actually helped you become what you are today. And that is the West. If it wasn't for the West's wealth sharing with you, then you wouldn't have been... You'd still be riding your bicycles <laughs> and starving. So we're just remember, if you want to go back into the Stone Ages, China, you will be sent there. And uh, all those other countries are going to thank you because all that debt they owed you, they will not owe you anymore because you will be vanquished. And, you know, remember what I said. We can see the size of a grain of sand with the satellites as well as infrared filter images. And thanks for watching. Remember, take care, prepare. Better think about it again, China, because America will...